everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna if you are new here and I post DIY lifestyle vlogs and videos about interior design, home decor, stuff like that. So welcome and today we have a fun video for you guys because I haven't done a day in a life in a long time so I have kind of a more fun day plan than normal so I figured I'd take you guys along. Just got up, got ready, we are going to make breakfast and we have some house projects, we have some house updates, we have a little mini road trip to take you guys on, so I think it'll be a fun day. Um, I think I'm gonna end up doing a DIY project later, I'm not sure, but I'll show you guys what I'm thinking. But to start off, we are going to be doing some Kodiak cakes for breakfast. This is my absolute favorite one, the cinnamon oat, but Mike doesn't like them, and he is just gonna do the regular one with some chocolate chips. Why don't you like it, Mike? Oh, he's over it's there too, playing. It's too Odie. Odie. You don't like the Odie texture? Nope. Ah. Nope, we like this. 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 Bean already had her breakfast. Right, Beans? Shake if you liked it. Yay! Okay, well, we're going to start making our breakfast, and then I'll show you guys some of the house updates. Okay, so we just finished breakfast and now I figured I'd kind of give you guys a little house update because there's just been a lot of little things going on that I feel like need updating. So a lot of you guys actually asked about our floors recently and um, if you haven't seen our moving disaster vlog, we had our laundry room flood. So this was kind of like the damage area. And honestly, all of the bowing has really gone down. If you look really close, maybe you can see some tiny bowing, but um, compared to how it was, it's really gone down, like back to normal. So that's good. The only thing is sometimes it kind of like creaks if you walk over it, but I think it stopped doing that. That might have just been the cold weather. I don't know. Anyways, so then we have this room and this used to be a dump room. It was just like the easiest place to like throw all of our crap, like for my hauls and just craft stuff and boxes that we never really went through. So it was a big, huge mess and I cleaned it out the other day. And so now it is our little workout room. So I love this. It's so nice to have room and space. We bought this for $150 on OfferUp and it creaks really bad, but it's totally worth having something at home to be able to work out with. And then um, we bought these power blocks. So each one goes up to 25 and you can like adjust the weight. And I really, really like these. So I pretty much do all of my workouts with those and then the elliptical and it's been really nice. And then I know I told you guys about these chairs in my uh, TJ Maxx versus Marshalls video and they are so beautiful. Like I am so obsessed with them, but I just can't really justify keeping them, you guys. And, and I came to that decision yesterday and it breaks my heart, but I was gonna just do like two chairs outside and then like a bench and a coffee table. But the more I think about it, it's just gonna be really hard to match this kind of style. I think it's just gonna end up looking mismatched. They're not even armchairs. So um, if you have like a conversation set, you'd wanna have something with an armchair typically. So I'm like, ugh, I could put them on two ends of our dining table, but we're doing a booth, so um there's not really anything i can do with them because we're not even gonna have two ends so i'm gonna return them they're so beautiful i love them so much but yeah there's just not really a spot or a place for them right now okay so i just wanted to show you guys this little alcove area in our entryway i ended up hanging this artwork which i really love 
It is a picture that I took in El Matador State Beach in Malibu, which I love that spot. It's so beautiful. Um, it's a little bit soft, like it's not super clear, but I personally love that. I think it looks very artistic and just kind of like the vibe I'm going for. So um, I love the black and white with the light wood frame. The light wood frames from Target it was only $20 for this huge big frame. I talk about this in my Target video, but I really, really like this one and it's such a good deal for that size. So then I got this like palm stuff from Home Goods. It was like $12 for all four of those. And then this big jug was like under $20. I don't remember because I got it a long time ago. But the thing I've been debating doing is just creating a dipped effect on the bottom. So I was going to spray paint the bottom like a white up to here. Um, it's kind of trendy right now in a lot of like vases and stuff, but I don't know how it would look on a jug like this. So I've been debating. I walk by it every day. I'm like, oh, I'd love it because I just hate how they awkwardly stick out at the end there. Like I just don't like seeing that and I feel like if the dip effect were there, it would cover all of that. So yeah, we'll see if I actually do that DIY today. I'm not sure if that's happening, if I can pull the trigger because there's no going back once you do it, you know? It's like, I can't make it just blue again. So um, another thing, whoops. So another thing too is we got our cabinets delivered. We are extending our kitchen over here. We're gonna have like the little coffee and liquor section, but it's all just gonna look like this. It's gonna be the same countertop as here, uh, the Cabrini gray quartz, and then we're gonna do the same backsplash so it kind of just looks seamless and it'll make our kitchen a lot bigger but we are having problems getting the cabrini gray countertop because they only let you buy it in a slab or get a remnant of someone who bought it in a slab and had it left over and it's really hard to find so we have yet to find it and that's kind of holding us up on that project because we have everything else that we need except for the countertop so these might be here for a while until we can somehow track down a remnant of that cabrini gray and so our last matter of business today is this tree. And it's the reason for our little mini road trip. So I love this tree so much. If I can make every house plant in my house an olive tree or olive branches, I would. But it's just all over the place. Get it? <laughs> we have the little mini one over there. We got some over there and then we have some here and it's just too much like we need some variety up in here okay so this guy's gonna have to go back i'd love to keep it and put it in another room but these things are expensive okay so this guy was like 140 bucks but i really really like that weeping eucalyptus one from the threshold line i love the pot it comes in i think it's a perfect mix of like rustic and just kind of like the relaxed vibe we're going for in here so the only place that had it was one 40 minutes away so we are gonna go up there and get it and i did the online pickup so hopefully it should be there um but there's this restaurant that we've always wanted to go to up there it's on the lake and typically we weren't gonna drive 40 minutes to go to this restaurant anyways so yeah we're gonna pop the tree in the trunk and head on over to mooresville north carolina and go check out this restaurant it's a beautiful day today the high is like 75 degrees so it'll be perfect to kind of like sit out on the deck and enjoy some drinks and a burger and there's a home goods next door to this target all the way up there so maybe we can look for some patio furniture right Mike <laughs> anyways so yeah let's go success we got it and I figured since this is such a nice pretty target that we would go check out the home section Mike's stoked right <laughs> Oh, this is so pretty. I love the pot. Aww. This Target is huge. And so well stocked. Like every aisle has everything. It's insane.
Okay, so now that we got our plant, we decided to just pop over to Home Goods because it was right next door. So we're gonna go see if we can find any outdoor patio furniture. Hopefully, this Home Goods will be as well stocked as that Target because that Target was the best Target I have seen in in all my Targets, and that's a statement. Okay, so highly disappointed by that home goods. Uh, I Whoa, feel like it's kind of hard. No, but for real, I don't know if maybe I've just been going to too many home goods lately, and I'm just like I know the whole inventory, so it's boring. Is that is that horrible? Like, I think I have a problem. I, think, I don't think about that. Well, actually, the one by your house has a lot of really pretty outdoor sets, and they didn't really have any, so I think it was just that. But anyways, it is such a beautiful day, you guys. Like, it's breezy, sunny, like 70 degrees. It's so pretty. So we're going to go enjoy that out on the deck. And the traffic lights. Yeah, that's because there's chilies right here, too. <laughs> it's an American landmark. Those honey chipotle chicken crispers don't crisp themselves, you know. Okay, so this is the new tree in the spot and I feel like this looks so much better. First of all, I love the pot on this thing. I just feel like it looks so expensive and it was funny when we returned it and they were both side by side, this one just looks so much more realistic and expensive. Even though I am partial to olive trees, I don't know, there's just something about this that looks really good. So I like that it's not like an olive branch, but it still kind of has that rustic look. And I love it when you look at the room as a whole. So when you look at the room as a whole, it, it looks good. Like I love this view coming down from the hallway and then you're like, oh, look at that beautiful plant. So worth the trip for sure. Don't you think, Mike? <laughs> So worth it. Yes. And then we got the spray paint, so I'm gonna use this guy on my little jug over there. So I think I'm gonna start that project right now. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I've been thinking about it for too long. I'm just gonna do it. And if I ruin it, oh well, at least I know I tried, you know? Also, don't you guys love the feeling when you're so confident about a purchase? It's like, the tag is coming off. Okay, so I changed, we took Kona on a walk, and while the paint is drying, we are gonna play some of our bucket beer pong, which is a really fun game. So I'm gonna make us some drinks, and Mike is gonna fill up these like big Home Depot and Lowe's buckets with water, um, cause it's like adult, big, giant beer pong. So um, it'll be really fun. So I'm gonna make us some drinks, and then we're gonna go play. These guys were like, what, three bucks at Lowe's and Home Depot? Yeah, they're like three, 50-ish, something like that about this. Yeah. So you fill them up about yay high with water, and then it's like giant beer palm. to show you how the little DIY project came out. Hopefully I didn't permanently ruin this guy with the paint and hopefully it looks good. But I also wanted to give these guys a little trim because 
when they're in here, they just hang over the picture frame, just a little too tall for my liking. So I want to trim them so they're right below the picture frame. So we're going to do that, unwrap it, and see how it all looks. Okay, so this is the finished product. I could not find my trimmers, my little uh, garden clipper things, but I'll do that later. I think it looks good. I don't really have much of an opinion. I think it looked good just blue, and I think it still looks good like this. So, I don't know. This is just a fun way to update it, I guess. You can still kind of see the bottom, like how I didn't like that, but it's a little bit more disguised. So, I think it looks cute. Definitely worth it. So that really concludes this video, you guys. I hope it was kind of fun following us along for a day. More kind of casual type videos as opposed to my structured type videos. Let me know what you guys prefer. If you like the mix of both, I don't know. I really like hearing what you guys like to see on my channel. It really helps me out with what I decide to produce and put out there. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.